Hey, all right, welcome back. Glad to see you back. You know that I would be back. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the solution of the quiz that I prepared in the previous video. So you saw that I had prepared a to-do list. And I put a UL. And then I placed the list items inside. I also added a class called to-do item. So first of all, what I need to do is to choose the elements that have the to-do item class. So I'll say var, first to-do item, document.query selector. To reach this, I call here to-do item to choose the first list item. So this is how I get to the first one. And I want to use the mouse over and mouse out events to create a hover effect here. And you know that now the hover event CSS has been added, but now I want to show you how to do it in JavaScript. So now after selecting the first to do item, I want to add an event to it. So I say document add event listener, and I'm adding the mouse over event here. I want to call this function when it's moused over. And I want to make the background color of the item blue when the mouse over event occurs. So for this, I'll say style.backgroundcolor equals blue. Now, when it was mouse over here, I made the background color of the to-do item blue. So let's go to the browser and refresh the page. And I'm bringing the mouse over the first to-do item. Now the background is blue. So if we want just below here, we can just say style.color white. So let's say this and go to the browser. And when I arrive on it, its color became white. Now I've changed the color of the first element. So now when we go to the second list item, I want it to take its old color back and change the background and color. And this time I want to call an event when it is mouse out, not mouse over. So again, I'll say first to do item. I'll say add event listener. This time I'm saying mouse out, not mouse over. And here again, I'll call a function. And this function will be called when I mouse out. So when it is mouse out, this time I want the background color to be white and the color to be black again. So I'll say first to do item dot style dot background color is white. And first to do item dot style dot color is black. Now let's save it and check it again in the browser. Yeah, so I'm bringing the mouse on it. It becomes blue. And when I do the mouse out again, it gets restored. Very cool. So now I want to apply all of this to all of the elements in the list. So I'll just make these lines. I'll comment out. Now, this time I'm saying var to do list items. And I'll say document.query selector all. I call it to do item. This will return a node list to me. And we have assigned all values of the to-do item to this list, to this to-do list items variable, right? Then I can use a for loop here. So I'll say for. I say var i equals zero. i is small. I say to-do list dot length. Let's increase i by one each cycle. 
So here I'll access every element of the to-do list item. So I say to-do list item square brackets and I, and now I'll add a add event listener to it. I'll say dot add event listener. And when mouse over, this function will be called. And then here I'll say this dot style dot background color blue. And this dot style dot color white. Then I want to add a new event to each to-do list item right below. So I'll say to-do list items dot add event listener and this time call mouse out event. And I want this function to be called when the mouse out happens. And here I'll say this dot style dot background color equals white. And here I'll say this dot style dot color equals black again. Okay, then let's save all this. Go to the browser. Here I'll refresh the page. And there it is. When each member is moused over, its background becomes blue. And it returns to default again when the mouse out happens. Okay, so after seeing that as well, I, I, I really do want to show the on click event. So I'll say to do list items, square brackets, I to select all items, and then dot add event listener. And this time I want to call the event listener with a click event. So I'm writing my function that should be called when clicked. And inside that function, I call this dot class list dot add. And I want to add the OK class to the class list. So now let's go to the index HTML page and add this class. I'll say OK, and I want text decoration line through, color to be gray inside. So I'll save all that and go to the browser. And let's refresh the page. All right, so right now we have a hover effect. And when I click it, I'll add the OK class. And yeah, so when I click on it, the line through event was added again. OK, so I took you through a lot really fast, but we saw different events, and that was cool. We've seen how to use the this keyword here when used with a for loop. Now, yes, we could do this in a different way. So when a mouse over event occurs, we could create a class list and add these classes. And again, we could do the same with the mouse out. So yes, my friends, we have accomplished the to-do list solution that we wanted to in this video. So why don't we take a break here and come back in the next lesson.